Hey everybody, David here, and this is another short and sweet Fantasy Grounds tutorial where we're going to be looking at how to add the Fog of War feature to your map in the Fantasy Grounds game that you're playing. So if you're a new user to Fantasy Grounds, you'll probably find this pretty useful, or if you're a savvy veteran of the software, you've probably added Fog of War too many times to even remember. So what is the Fog of War feature? And what it is is simply put like this. It allows you, as a DM, to hide a map from your players, whether it be a small dungeon, like what you see here in front of you, a cave, a church, anything. So, if the players were on the map right now, they would see that they are in, you know, Balgar's, the ancient Red Dragon's lair, and he's guarding his treasure. So the players really wouldn't be too surprised because they already see what's going on on the map. Now you can hide this from them and uncover it using the Fog of War, which that's what it is. You just uncover parts of the map as your players explore it. So it's really easy to do. There's two ways that you can actually add it to the map. The first way is by, which is the harder way to do it, which is still super easy. You just click on the map that you want, right click, go to the layers button down here, click on that, and then hit the little mask button here that says enable mask. All right. Now when you do that, you'll see dark gray or the charcoal color covers the entire map. That means that the players see nothing but black. And you can uncover that a little bit at a time and I'll show you how to start uncovering it in just a second. But don't worry about the hard way uh, to cover the map. This, this is really just simply too hard. Really it wasn't, but anyways, if you want to delete the mask, just go back to your layers, right click on the map, go to layers, and now you'll see that there is a delete mask button. Now there's one other mask button up here, and what this does is this exit mask mode. So you can do that, or you can go ahead and delete the mask. We'll go ahead and delete the mask. Because I'm going to show you how to add the mask really quick. Very top left hand button, you're going to see this, uh, like this theater face, the basically the frown upside down mask. So by clicking on that little you know frown face in the top left hand corner, that's pretty much the easiest and fastest way to put any kind of fog of war on your map. So now to uncover it, now that our players don't see anything but a black map, we'll see that the, the players were a little bit down the hall. Now you can uncover the map in large chunks, you can do it in squares, rectangles, or you can draw it. So for this area here where the players are at, we'll just go ahead and just hold down the left, left mouse button and you'll see the red button, the, this, the red box. That pretty much gives you what, what you're going to uncover. And once you have what you want to uncover, just let go of the left mouse button. Bam. Now the players can just see the little hall that they're in. So you can give them the, the creepy narrative, play your music in the background, and they don't know what's around the corner. But now that they've gone through this long hall, gone down several corridors with the water dripping and the ambient music playing in the background. Now you can open up the layer of the ancient red dragon. Now you can do that the same way. And this really gives uh, the element of surprise to you, uh, to your players. So as you, you know, hold down the left button on your mouse and just open up the rest of the map, it'll open it up nice and bright and now the players are going to say, holy crap, that is one huge red dragon. And then that's when you say, alright guys, roll for initiative, or if the dragon is sleeping, maybe they can do some type of stealth check to try to get in there and, and get the jump on the ancient red dragon. So that's how you can uncover the map one way. Now you can also uncover it by drawing, basically. And to do that, all you do is you just hold down the shift button and you'll just start left hold down the left mouse button and just uncover what you want to uncover that way so that works good for stuff like caves or uh, really intricate rooms that you can't use the rectangle square feature so there you go I mean I, I didn't draw it too bad so like I said guys all you do is you just hold down the the shift button and then after the shift buttons hold down just hold down your left mouse button 
and uncover whatever you want the players to be able to see. There you go. Now, what happens if you, what happens if, oh, 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 I, I goofed up and I uncovered too much? Well, that's easy, guys. You can also cover the map back up. So all you have to do is hold down the control button. And when you uncover, you know, when you hold the control button down, all you do is you'll see the blue square now. And you can just line it up even again and let go of the mouse button. And now the map is filled back up. Really easy. Really easy. And, you know, there's really no draw feature for that, So, uh, but it's just for covering it up. So just hold down Control, and, you know, you can just pretty much cover the entire map back up. I mean, it's uh, really, really, really easy to do, guys. All right, everybody, there you go. That's how you use the Fog of War feature in Fantasy Grounds. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Maybe you do it a different way. Also, if you enjoy the video, please like it. Please share it. If you enjoy the content on the channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Dave. Happy gaming.